Is your skin oily? Is your skin dry? Is your skin mature? Is it a combination? Oh, did I list all the skin types? Yes, I did. That's because this video pertains to everyone. Today we're talking about the pH of your skin. First, let's start off with what is pH? pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration, a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. It is measured on a scale, 1 being the very most acidic and 14 being the very most alkaline. We meet right here at 7 and you've got neutral. To help you put it in perspective, let's look at this other scale. Over here at 3, we have vinegar. Over here at 9, we have baking soda. Move a little further to 5 and you've got bananas. Move a little bit further to 7, like we said, neutral, and you have water and the pH of your internal body. But what about your skin and specifically your stratum corneum? Well, in case you don't remember, your stratum corneum is the very top layer of your epidermis. Most current scientific literature will place the pH of the skin between 4 and 7. The term acid mantle is used to describe the inherent acidic nature of the stratum corneum. Okay, so now that you know what the pH is, what exactly does it do for your skin? First, it regulates the microbes living on your face. What? What do you mean microbes? Basically, we're a living host to a bunch of bacteria. In fact, we have thousands of little bacteria microbes that we share our body with inside and out. So when our skin's pH balance is healthy, our microbes are doing good work for us. They're keeping basically all the bad microbes that we don't want on our face that cause acne, cellulitis, skin infections, all kinds of dermatitis, they're keeping those out. Yeah. Next time you count your blessings, say thank you to your face microbes. Number two, a normal pH supports the formation of an optimal lipid barrier. What's that mean? Well, you got fat on your face. <laughs> and that fat, it does great things. You know, it keeps your face looking plump, it keeps your face looking young, and it helps you maintain moisture. All right, now, when your pH is in balance, that acidic environment is feeding two very important pH-loving enzymes that support the creation of something called ceramides. I'm not gonna go into what ceramides are, because I think that might be a topic of another video. However, if you've shopped skincare, you've seen the word ceramides form thrown around. So ideally, our, the pH of our skin would stay um, balanced at all times. But we humans, we like to get involved, mess things up, create a little chaos. When we create chaos by washing our face, applying serums, spraying on toners, using elixirs, using creams, that are not necessarily pH balance, we throw our skin out of whack. What does this all mean, right? Because I've like thrown some information at you in a very scholastic type of way, and now I'm just gonna tell you what I think about all this. Because here's the thing, as I was doing this research, I was kind of blown away that I have never really, except for like one Instagrammer, heard the pH of skin talked about. I've never seen it advertised on any skincare. And I, my mind's kind of blown by that. Because in one of the articles that I was reading, it said notes to dermatologists. If you have um, patients with really bad acne, you should possibly skin test their pH and then recommend that they use slightly acidic cleansers. I don't see any products that are recommended for acne advertising the pH balance of their skincare. Um, and I kind of was just blown away by this. When you read about how you need an acidic environment to create the proper lipid barrier for your skin, you're like, 
Why is this not on every overnight treatment? So are you like kind of freaked out right now? You're like wanting to buy litmus paper of your own and pH test all your own products? Well, in some ways I think, yeah, you should, probably should. Um, but before you do that, you could do some of the reading. I've linked it all below in the description box. Investigate for yourself and see what you think, but I definitely think these three articles are worth a read. You know I wouldn't leave you without any skincare tips. And you're like, oh my gosh, what can I do right now to help the pH balance of my skin. <laughs> <laughs>